GearWire.com is at AES 2006, and we're here today with Kevin Spiegel for sure. How are you today? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Now, you've got a line of UHF R wireless systems. Tell me a little bit about what you've got. Okay. Well, we'll go through the components, if that's okay. We'll start with the belt pack. Uh, the UR1 is a switchable belt pack. Uh, it has either 10 milliwatts or 100 milliwatt output. So the same belt pack, depending on what, you're, uh, what you need. Um, one of the main features, you can see both on the uh, belt pack and the handheld transmitter, a sync pad. We'll get to that in a second when we look at the receiver, but it's also a uh, magnesium belt pack, so it's a little bit lighter than our, uh, our old packs. Uh, the antenna is actually field replaceable, uh, so if something does go wrong out in the field, you can't actually do that at the gig. You don't have to send it in the service department. We also have on the TQG connector is a threading lock-on adapter. When you buy the uh, belt pack, it comes with that thread that'll go onto any uh, lavalier mic. So it's, and that's also field changeable. It's a solderless connection, can plug right in. So it's gonna lock on there. You're not gonna have any sweat dripping in there or less sweat dripping in there. Um, you can always wear the belt pack upside down to help with that as well. But uh, two AA batteries. And let me uh, go through the handheld here with the KSM-9 wireless capsule. The handheld is switchable from 10 milliwatts to 50 milliwatts. Uh, the reason for that is with the belt pack, it goes up to 100 milliwatts because it's close to the human, which is going to absorb some of that RF. Um, this is typically further out, so 10 or 50 milliwatts. Uh, we were trying to encourage uh, proper microphone technique. You can see it divots in here a little bit, so hopefully uh, the talent will grab it from the center of the microphone. We've also revised the antenna uh, so that if and when the talent does grab it from the antenna, you're gonna have much less absorption uh, than our traditional systems. Uh, and like all of our handheld transmitters across the lines, the capsules are uh, interchangeable. So if for one night you need the KSM-9, next night you need a Beta 58 for whatever reason, you don't have to buy two different transmitters and just swap the heads and keep on going.